Jason Salas with KUM Digital, and I am in some very familiar territory for us at KUM, the Guam Museum. I've been here many, many times. It never gets old. Every time you come down here, you're filled with a sense of history, a sense of our culture, who we are, not just as Chamorro natives, but as Guamanians, inhabitants of this wonderful island of ours. And I am joined today by many, many friends of mine. Half a day, everybody. Half a day. We are live on Facebook, by the way. Half a day, Facebook. And I know we're in the tail end of February here, everybody, but uh, there's, a, there's a rather important event coming up throughout the month of March, but why just celebrate tomorrow month, mess tomorrow, only in March, right? We were actually trying to say that as Chamorros, as natives of this wonderful island of Guam, we celebrate tomorrow pride, our culture, our language, our history, our sense of family, our sense of respect. That's an all year round thing, right? Okay, so we are taking the time, and I believe we're going to have some very, very important, very VIP VIPs are going to be here, and we have a very special announcement, as of course, Mess Tomorrow, Tomorrow Month is just a few days away. It's a wonderful celebration. If you're new to the island, and you have never celebrated Mess Tomorrow with us, you're in for a real treat, because everywhere you go, you're going to see people with really big smiles. We are going to share our culture, let you know who we are, where we came from, and we're also going to feed you really, really good. Okay, so let me talk to some new friends of mine. Half a day, ladies. Today. Okay, uh, may I ask, uh, wh where are you guys from and what village? I'm from Dedido. For, it, me too. I'm from Dedido. From well. Dedido, okay. See this? Dedido. We always get, we, we come down to Aganya because, you know, what? It's like 10 minutes away, right? Yeah. Okay. In a way. <laughs> okay, so what, what, what part of, what part of uh, being Chamorro is most important to you? Because there's so many wonderful aspects, but what about it is most important to you? And you can say food because that's my favorite too. <laughs> yeah, I like the food. You like the food? Okay. I well, love the food. Okay. Um, and you know in Dedido, we have a really rocking fiesta. Yes, even down south is really good too. Oh Yeah, down south, it's hard to beat the south. But uh, <laughs> what, what about Chamorro food makes you so proud? Um, we have our own unique ways of cooking it. Even though it comes, it's shown like from other like cultures, but mm -hmm. we have our own way to show it, yeah. <laughs> and we always share. I mean, it's, it's, one thing, it's one thing to make really, really good food. It's another thing to say, hey, I have two scoops of rice. The other one's for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And may I ask, man... Have you ever tried uh, Kelleguin swordfish? No, I have not. Oh, girl, that is the <laughs> best. I'm, t I'm telling you. Until you've tried that, I mean, chicken Kelleguin, you can't beat that. Shrimp Kelleguin. What's your favorite type of Kelleguin? Um, chicken Kelleguin, because okay. it's like the most basic and everybody makes it. Okay. It's like more known. Okay. Well, of course, here on Guam, you know, we have a lot, a lot of village pride and everything. So being from Dedido, uh, if no one's ever been to Dedido before, people watching this all over the world right now, what about Dedido so special? It's... Um, it's like really populated, but like a lot of people there are family oriented, and like even if you see a person on the road, you like help them out. All right, well, ladies, thank you very much. We look very much forward to celebrating uh, Mess Tomorrow with the both of you and everybody. And I am going to go find a friend of mine right now because Anne Marie is here somewhere. Now she she's very very busy. Now Anne Marie, where'd you go? Oh, there she. Is. I walk right by her. My, uh, yes, my my apologies, my friend. Hey, see that? Okay. Is there anything more that, more that more tomorrow than showing respect? Well, I see a duty. K kiss on the cheek, Amit. But I think there's more gray on you than me. So okay. Let's try this okay. Thing. I'm I'm gonna <laughs> let's make this about you. Okay. Today is you know this isn't just any mess tomorrow celebration. And everything you are actually giving me a hint at what we can do to make sure that we we always talk about perpetuating culture, but this year we really want to make it special. Not just in March, right? Nope, not just in March anymore. So we'll celebrate peak celebrations mm -hmm. and, and highlights of, you know, being tomorrow and everything about being tomorrow in March. However, we want to emphasize and encourage everybody to practice every day, every month, you know. So if we're having competitions, it shouldn't be just break out the guagua and the woven things and all the beautiful pictures of tomorrow mm -hmm. just in March and then at the, on March 30th, take it down. All right. That is not the idea. And so a little bit more of also revitalization, you know, revitalization is about language. It's not just about culture. And so we want to take it, so to say, a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. We want to say, uh, you know, make a commitment. We're calling everybody, every tomorrow and non tomorrow on Guam who wants to make a difference in revitalization to make the commitment to learn how to speak and get involved in doing tomorrow every day. Okay, now there is a very good question. Now, now you have made such a name for yourself and you're so endeared in this community for having spread the love of language and, you know, and showing people, but, but maybe for people who either grew up here and for whatever reason 
never learned the language or people just came here and like, I want to know more on a very deep level about my new island home. How difficult is it to pick up Chamorro if you've never spoke like the language before? It's not that hard. It isn't. It just depends on how bad you want it. And a lot of people are fixed in the most common uh, um, barrier of learning the language. And that's embarrassment, you know, to, mm -hmm. that they don't want to even try because they're afraid they're going to pronounce it wrong or they're mm -hmm. going to be teased. And so we really got to get over that barrier. But mm -hmm. really, there's still tomorrow people speaking all over the place. You know, the elders? Absolutely. And we still have them. We're very fortunate. I mean, Hawaii went down zero and had to start from the ground up. Mm -hmm. We still have a chance. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I guess the, the quest is to reach the elders who still speak and start at home. Okay. Right? Well, well you obviously, look at, the, look at that pit. Look at that agenda. Anne-Marie has a lot to do, so we're going to catch up with you in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, Masi, thank you very much. And Okay. One word that we love here. In Chamorro culture, it's celebration, and it is a celebration here. Swing the camera around here, Ken, for a sec, please. Look at all these amazing people. They have come here to celebrate. There is a method to the madness. Of course, we will be having a proclamation signing, which, you know, is the Guam way of saying we officially sign off and recognize month as Chamorro month, as Mess Chamorro. Um, hey. Can I get a few words from you, bro? Hey, off a day. Off a day. Okay, what village are you from? I'm originally from Zonia. All right, join your rules, of course. Okay, what about celebrating your culture and your heritage and not only just having a party for yourself, but also sharing that with others and telling people how proud it is to be Chamorro? What does that mean to you? Um, to me, it's, um, I could say it's uh, kind of a family um, tradition. Uh, my grandmother, is, uh, she was one of the master weavers back in the day. Uh, you know, it's basically about sharing, you know, um, share what you know, um, also, like, um, um, it was feeling the good vibe and also perpetuating the Chamorro culture and weaving. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So you have taken like your Nana's craft, you know, her, her mastery of the arts. Yeah. And what, dare I say, like you've given it like a little bit of new school flavor. Because, you know, that's, that's a proper weave hat right there. And you got it on the side. So, you know, you had some flavor there. Uh, yes, it's actually... Um, uh, my family is the one who uh, modified it to a ball cap style. Yeah. Um, See that, everybody? That's a Chamorro lid right there. <laughs> That's legit. That's nice, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. And how, how difficult is it for this to make? Because, you know, for those of us who took, like, Chamorro class, we learned, like, the traditional style, like, you know, like the ranchero hat, right? Right, right. That seems a little bit more challenging because you've, you've only got the one side with a lip. Well, um, you know, if you practice a lot and you want to get it down pat, um, it actually took me, like, no less than 45 minutes. Uh, aside from the regular old ranchero hat, mm -hmm. it, it'll take like 30 minutes. And you know, it all depends on the how nice the leaves are. You know, nowadays uh, with the rhino beetle killing our trees, it's very hard to find coconut leaves nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, that, that's beautiful work, man. Thank all right, you. Well, hey, thank you for sharing your art with us, and thank you for sharing the Chamorro culture with with all of us. We appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Okay. Thank okay. You. Try and make one of those, everybody. Ch Chamorro lids. Okay. I know everybody wants like the Raiders hat, everybody wants, you know, LA Kings and everything like that. And those are cool. Everybody wants the Chicago White Sox. I'll take that. That's awesome. Okay. We are going to have to find a seat here because it is becoming very quickly standing room only here at the Guam Museum. And if for whatever reason you just started watching us, or you're scrolling through this on Facebook or YouTube and you just turned on the volume. I'm Jason Silas. Ken St. Nicholas is behind the camera. He's going to join us momentarily, but I am joined by a rapidly expanding room right here at the Guam Museum in the capital of Haganya because we will be having a pro Oops, I'm so sorry a proclamation to see standing room only I'm so sorry but yeah well may I just may I just ask no, you si cannot. since I bumped into you okay but okay music is such a huge part of who we are as Guam could I could I get you to play maybe a few a few bars if you don't want to do an interview and everything could you just like uh, just jam out so what, what is it signature tomorrow sound That's a tomorrow sound right there. Just basic standard tuning. That's a lot of country vibes right there.
Thank you. Sidus Masi, everybody. Matt, that's the way you want to get your Tuesday afternoon started after you come back from lunch. Matt, a ad hoc concert. Thank you. If I could almond everybody at the same time, I would. Thank you so much, Matt. That is the distinct Chamorro sound. The melodies, the harmonies. You, you basically watching this right now live on Facebook, you just witnessed 48 part harmony. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That, that was so beautiful. Thank you, everybody. See, just Masi. And okay, and, and by the way, the event hasn't even started. They just launched into song spontaneously. That was amazing. Thank you, guys. Can we please just start Mess Tomorrow now? You guys have a problem with that if we start today? That, ah, ahi, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't think there's, there's a Chamorro word that can just qualify. Just that wonderful meal. A cappella? No, that's Italian. Okay. Oh, we do have a shout out for all of you. Somebody really enjoyed that. Um, how many of you guys have family in Tacoma, Washington? Tacoma, oh, there, there. You guys know, got family in Tacoma? They got good apples over there. Okay. Um, okay. Tacoma, Washington is saying half a day from John Tataltao. If any of you guys are related to John, Uncle John, he's saying hello. Oh, and also Kentucky, our friend Debbie from Bardstown, Kentucky. A good, good basketball state. She's saying she gives you guys not one, not two, not three, but four. See? Four applause emojis. And then the Guam flag. And then the treble clef, because you guys did such amazing music. And then the smiley face. Thank you very much. Oh, may I ask, well, what village are you from? Manila. Man okay, Manila, the big village. Yeah. Okay. You know, I know Manila has the, has the Doni Fest. Do you, do you like pika food yourself? Mungan. Okay. What what's the best way to eat what's the best way to eat doni on just raw pepper or like with on top of rice with meat? Anyway. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're from Manila. I can tell. Okay. Authentic Manila status verified. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Okay. That was incredible. Okay. So we are waiting. Oops. Oh, there's a gov, you guys. Oh, but you know what? I I would be remiss. If I did not, Amen. Half a day. Half a day. <laughs> Senora Dr. Judy Flores, a, a beloved local institution, a wonderful artist from historic Hinalahan. Okay. It's, it's wonderful to see you, Judy. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Jason. And what a wonderful time to be a Guamanian, to come here and to celebrate. And what, what a wonderful time to just take part in, in who we are as a people. Definitely. Okay. And celebrating this wonderful museum that okay. tells about our history. Okay, and then somebody who does a lot of work for Chamorro, just a few miles down the road, right from Humatec, yeah. Joe Canata. Joe, good to see you again. Buenas, buenas. Half a day, todos. All right. Okay, man, I got so many of my friends. Okay, Lassie Casil's over there. Jack Hattick. Hi, guys. I want to make sure we can get, we can get a good shot because the Gov is here. Thanks, everybody. Man, the governor has been super busy. Let's, let's see if we can get maybe a smidge of a conversation with her. So, of course, that was uh, freshman Senator Kelly Marsh Titano and the governor. Hi. Hi, Madam Governor. Hi. See, okay. See, again, you must, uh, okay, you must, I'm in the gov, you must kiss the gov, but hopefully not knock over the table like I just did. I must say, Madam Governor, before you start, and half a day, Senator, very nice to see you, half a day. You've been busy the past few days. I saw you at the basketball game, and you, oh, yeah. were, you were cheering louder than anybody in the gym. <laughs> I don't think so. This wonderful woman right here, she is a true basketball fan. She was cheering, let's go Guam. She had the thunder sticks and everything. What did you think of the game? I thought it was really good. You know, it was exciting. Um, and then when they came in after the, the intermission, right, and mm -hmm. they came in and they kind of rallied more to, yep. to make the gap a little bit closer, mm -hmm. that was also being fired up. So I did. I, I, I enjoyed the game. I okay. think they both played very good. Uh, I think if we made all our shots, we would have beat them. Yeah. <laughs> we were right neck and neck with New Zealand and everything. All right. But, ladies, I know you got some work to do. I'll try and catch up with you later. All right. Thank you very much, Gov. Okay, so she had the basketball game. She had the State of the Island address last night in which she did wonderfully. And then tonight, of course, we've got the proclamation signing to begin Mr. Moore. Um, we got to take our seats, too. So, all right. Uh, uh, okay. If the seat's not taken, it's ours. <laughs> well, what's the worst they can do? Kick us out? So take a look at that, everybody. Our island's history is certainly not being lost on the next generation. We have a bunch of kids here. And I be, are they from Hurao Academy? Yes, they are.
Okay, guys, we are about 18 minutes into this live stream, and we've already had some wonderful interviews. We've learned about Chamorro food. We've learned about that th there basically is no wrong way to consume the doni pepper, and I'm not, who am I to disagree? And then we've also had just a absolutely moving, stirring, stunning, astonishing. I'm coming up with like all of these words. Um, performance by the musical group. Okay, Ken, Ken San Nicholas is with me here. But Ken, what do you think of that music performance? Oh, that was amazing. That's surreal. That's amazing. But I think we have another one going on right now. Yeah, that's right. Okay, song number two, guys. I don't even know if there's an emoji for that. <laughs> Oops, okay. Here we go. Sin Hadi Mas in Magahag in Magahagan Guahan, 
Sí, Lourdes Leon Guerrero. Sí, es más de China. No, no es importante para que vayan a trabajar. Atuga Tatsa Gregui Gaigi, Zao Be Recumisa y Segundo Magalahi en Guajan, si Joshua Tenorio. Gov Manhongi ni Hapa de Rebecca ni Sakura Loki. Dan y Gume Lulu y todo este cultura de Guiza Mumumuzi hit, we halum, tuca ti tamoru, lo tamoru corazonia, si senadora Kelly Marsh Titano. Un pala loco y ni hagas gira sonia, y esta tanya de ni familia, este put ma pitsigi ni tamoru, y cultura de ni lenguaje, y que lo mami, y departamento en cargo en antamoru, si Linda Titano Reyes. Dan Torudu y mangay lo departamento en cargo en antamoru ni mangay con la huyum, si dos maasi. Dan magagi hamdu. Dao loku ibe u rekunisa imanya luhu gi cabinet sa sin mixia si beto si gi guini si dos ma asi hami managua si kana gof manye na cabinet esti be sangani hamdu sa man manhalum da ingyakti mo hafa biran mama mi. Hongan? Cabinet? Hongan? Si dos ma asi. Dao loku ibe u rekunisa. I komision, i membro ni komision i fino tamoru, i manjaj nata, ni sin sija za ni tinengo nija za ni fina za nija, sija gume lulu i het mona, pues bue fobot i tauto komision i fino tamoru. I delegatim festback. Hazi delegatim festback, ha to lo kena mizu, put fobot. A dai sa manjaj ki to lo ki tate mizu lo kui. Hungan, agen ten klaruna ta representen a hita para tahano ta togi para i tau tau ta. Hungan? Viva Fespa! Viva! I in the division in the student tomorrow the Department of Education i ma estran tomorrow, the ma estran tomorrow siya si dos masi maniluhu na manda danyahe gwini si dos masi mangagi todo bigatu jen si dos masi negelume na patpaki siya put for board. I need no one's manyasa na fest bag of PC minigay niya i-provetu para i-tau-tau-ta. Hip it. Okay? Ko saan nga na no dinati, Ali? Okay. Si Dus Maasi. I nang oko na naday ng wahan, si Joe. Si Dus Maasi Talung, putoro i-tetomu. I, kwa ha pa tamano pa sa saan nga na sige fina tomorrow, Adjutant General. I famagun horal ni chef ni kotu anus. Famagun kon kompendi kon hafaleleku kon kompendi hafaleleku hongan perai. Munga man mamala hongan ati leno na hidereshon siya man mamala sempre siya sempre nito. Sinasamas ni da tapanogi da 
Ukraine. Let's go, Nabona. It's our own. It's our own. You know, as we gather here today, we could just call this just another ordinary proclamation signing for the Liberation Sabor, because we've done it for many years. The only difference is today, if you think about where we're at and if you've been paying attention to what's been going on, we are losing our identity as a people. Why do we know that? Because just look around and see how many speak tomorrow. Yes, culture, yes, art is also important, but it cannot go without language. This work of revitalization takes time. And I can stand before you now because I know that in the plans going forward that our, and I, I'm very sincere when I say this because it's going to happen, guys. Our Magahaga is going to ensure that revitalization on Guam is coming and it's going to be here for a long time. It takes a lot of years and a lot of work, but we're going to start. We've been starting, but we're going to keep it going. And I know that because I'd like to recognize my brothers in the department, Sidus Maasi directors, my cabinet members and brothers, for the Fuetsen Samoro. These are representatives in each government of Guam agency that ensures that Samoro language is alive in each department. So if you haven't seen or recognized the signs in every department, you see signage that's in Samoro. You go to Revan Tax, you go to, there's some that have been there a while, but we're really resurrecting it. Our chief of police has Departamentum Policia and Guan in his truck and has vowed to me and said I could say it today that he's going to put on the tomorrow name on every police vehicle coming now. Biba, Hungat? Yes. They're little moves, but they're great, great steps towards revitalization for our children to be able to see our language everywhere is supporting them to show them that it is important. But we gotta take the lead. Hita ni manyaina, gagigi sa hita, gikanaita, na paratasod ba esti. Pues manyelu, toros hamzu, ni tumungo, mantinu tumoru, obligasyon ta, obligasyon ta, para tafanagui pamaguon. It's our responsibility. We can't just leave it to the schools. We have to practice at home and start with each one of us. Even few words, even just to answer your phones and say half a day instead of hello. To say seduce masi at the cash register, whether they understand it or not, then it's a moment to educate. Okay? Get curious and buy dictionaries. Get on the website. There's so many resources now. There's almost no excuse not to get fluent. Spend time with Nana and Bia, you know? Instead of ablaying at the rosaries, spend time with Nana and Bia and learn those, those words that we don't hear all the time, right? Make use of our time instead of, or when you go to the bingo, you know, the monopoly, right? Dispenser, right now. Mega ina tao tao gi bingo matungo matungo tomorrow. Hunger? 
to celebrate the year of tomorrow is a very different time in our lives of the promotion of language and culture. It's a different time because we have little time left. And our governor knows that. She knows that in her heart. And she speaks. Thank goodness we have a leader that speaks. Magalahi, <laughs> Segundo Magalahi. Tori dos mati kena semua orang zaman kumpendi. Imagine, huh? We have leaders, so there's no reason now. There's no excuse. Okay. So before we read the proclamation, on this is the title of the proclamation. Again, this could be any moment, right? I invite all of you to just take less than five minutes of this time in your lives to listen to a message that a young girl has been doing in revitalization work for many, many years. She was eight when she started, and she's now over 30 and still doing this work. So I'd like to invite her, and I'd like you to pay attention. Mama go in Ekumok. Hungen? I'm doing kanta in Koru. And I'd like her to give you this message in song. So I beg you, please, Turn off your phones, unless you're recording. <laughs> Turn off your phones and just pay attention. Half the time, that's our problem. We're not paying attention. Mampus mega get telephone, telephone. Hungan? Kamagun, taza telephonista. Hungan? Sa fananum gigwalu. No? Hungan. Tanagoska si gima. Hungan? Hungan. Hey, that's. If we don't pay attention, it could just pass us by. It could be another moment where it's just going to pass us by. And you won't get it. So, for favor, Ekumo, Imensahi, Yeninus, Stacia, Guzman. I nani kanta ni pro kanta. Azuda ifama guanta gina nas di kunte Joe Pareto esta di nguhit lo la 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 high spiritu nga and Jesus si na kanta esta. Before we get started, I'd like to go ahead and recognize my son Caleb, who is going to be accompanying me on guitar, and then also too I would really really love it if you all could sing with me this song. So before we start playing, I'm going to go ahead and go over the chorus. So if you could, for favor, repeat me, please. Repeat after me. Okay. The chorus goes, I famaguanta, I famaguanta, na i ni bendishon, na i ni bendishon, ni diputsi para siya, ni diputsi para siya, sa isaw esti para tatulaika, sa isaw esti para tatulaika, Irasaniha ifamagonta. Irasaniha ifamagonta. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sing it. So sing after me, okay? And then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Ifamagonta. Sa isa 
Día, todo día. Cocina en lange, que no? Engel. Ya go, a todo en el guau, por todo en la saina, saina. Mafa, mafa, mala goma, que no, sangue en la Leña, no musi tota, si no, no, que paine. Ahora, para, ha, un tapa naita, para decir. My goosey thought that he'd couch. So I'm about to move my own to move my own. I'm about to see the story and give it up to me. They're like, okay, my boots may get information. And he's like, mommy, I'm tough and I'm tired. Because then he's like, low, sa, sa, my own to move. So I'm about to see the story and give it up to me. So I'm about to see the story and give it up to me. I'm about to see the story and give it up to me. I'm about to see the story and give it up to me. No, Toro do and I'll give you no tomorrow. Was a good demo demo that tough and my night tight. Tough and night tight, but you know, and she thought that. Was Pabu, Kada Mumuhuni, and Alan Tata? Then you're mile a mile at the demo that tough and my night tight. Was Malikan to know my thoughts too? Okay? Only Dangian team from Brandy, Sempre team from Brandy, half a leg. Tipero, yes, the Tata get the song and give you no English. Okay? Was Estigi, Mamirezi from Agonta. Our children have a right to feel this, to know our language and be able to appreciate it because it's not the same when we say it, given or English. It's never the same. Okay? So at this time, this brings us to the moment, and I hope that Stacia has planted this thought, this movement, this seed in your hearts. Parata azura i famaguanta. Sahafa. Sa isao para tatulaika irasaniya. Who will our children say they are when they grow older and go to the states or go into the military? Who will they say they are tomorrow? Hungal. And one day they'll be able to say tomorrow all around to be able to speak, live, and breathe tomorrow. And that's our gift to them. But it's up to us. We're, we're, we hold it in our hands. Esther, question half a mass. How do you come to meet you? Parata na lotla if you not da dan equal to rata. How to can I move? Do add that. How to can I move? Okay, how to come to meet you? Fanogi. Fungan, Fanogi. Fungan. This is a moment. We gotta take this moment. It's not gonna happen again. It might not happen again. Fungan. Fanogi. Jason, do you commit? Yes. Hungan. Given that tomorrow is an ikutura. Hungan. Jason. Give KUAM luck week. Oh, Hungan. Hungan. What I'm going to do tomorrow is news. Hungan. Hungan. What I'm going to do tomorrow is news. Hungan. Oh, Hungan. 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 Viva tomorrow! Viva! Viva tomorrow! Viva! Viva famaguon! Viva! Hey, I'm talking that that's all great proclamation on Papa. Hey, um, how do you manage to protagi for tight tight yesterday for no tomorrow? Yeah? Hungen? How do you? Si senadora Shelton, give you the tomorrow. How do you manage to manage? Pido. 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 Senador. Get money. Okay. Why who did spend time to para fogos a be be? So we had the lala today. The assembly SD Sia Poma told me in Filipino English. Okay. Esta. Okay. You did talk. You have to walk, huh? I can walk that moment to a sticky tempo that Tita Tagias Italo from a go on. My lap from a go on, my lap put for what doggy get at in mommy for doggy when you tati maestro for the do that put for what okay tattoo to one. I didn't want to do it for you. Eagle? 
We live for death. <laughs> Proclamation numero Benti Benti. Como y celebración y manaltano Marianas. Proclamation of the Governor, proclaiming the year 2020 in celebration of the year of the Tsumoru. Como matoktok ni tauta guahan in responsibilidad nu i para umasadba maabiba da maabansa i manaltautanu guahan dan i Marianas dan The people of Guam embrace the responsibility to preserve, promote, and advance the native people of Guam and the Marianas. And Kumu Esti Ha Giza Guahan Dani Noti Marianas, Nalugod Gihilotanu Nasinya Libri Hit Umen Sima Diretsota, Kumu Manautautanu Sin Adborotu Zan. Whereas, Guam and the Commonwealth of the Northern Marianas Islands are the only places we can exercise our indigenous identity as Chamorros freely, without encumbrance, and... Como gagagya gi zahita i rencha ni spiritu ni manainata gi kurasonta gi hinasota zani futsata kumo manautautanu i islas Marianas siha. Dan... Whereas the inheritance of the spirit of our ancestors resides in our hearts, our minds, and our strength as natives of the Mariana Islands. Kumo mangaigihi gi mamis na ora anaisina tatna zahululu i paratana lotla tatlu i finutamoru. Pue samapualunu i manfadini lenguahi na esta kumeke malingu i finota. Dan. Whereas, we are in an optimal time to prioritize the revitalization of our Tsumoro language as it is categorized by language experts as critically endangered and... Kumugaigi haleta gifinota ihenengeta ikuturata historiata zani ati siha zan Whereas our roots are in our language, our values, our culture, our history, and the arts. And? Kumu fan magmata, fan manhasu, fanogi, itemen esti na saken. Zahana hahasu hit na importanti, na tafana espiha para tafan uno, la tafan aris peta toru kumu mansamoru na tautawi. Para ta practica y finota, para ta respeta de la dali y de nota siha, se ta pati historiata y entero y tano, para iman mamala na generación. Dan? Whereas, this year's theme, Be Enlightened, Be Informed, Rise, reminds us of the importance to seek unity and respect for one another as Chamorro people, to practice our language, to respect and care for our islands, and to share our story with the rest of the world for future generations. Pagu Komohami si Lordis Yongrero Nagahagangwahan Giniki Padet Miha Nana Izu Iatunogani Organic Guahan Ni Mama Nima Amendi Hupaklema Isakan Dos Mi Benti Como celebration is second, Iman Chamorro. Como testigo, Gwini, 
Guahu and si Justinorio sekundun magalahin guahan in portnu gini ikanai mami isedun guahan gini gi ikapitat siudat hagatnya gi idiha benti singku gi febreru gi sagen isainata dos mid benti. Pespahu behu fitma ina anhu. Zau proklama esti na anu i dos mid benti anu tamoru. Sidus masi dan congratulations tato tamo. Governor, he speaks our native tongue to do Masi that I go back of doing it and now. Viva tomorrow! Viva! Viva tomorrow! Viva! Viva Fino tomorrow! Viva! Again, because until in Fanhano, that is the Monazan here, Guaha, Mini Dande Rusian, if of Fandandan, he Pacific Cool, Kuvanan Hulu for this is here, Pacific Cool, Umbian, Mangagi Guini Gikimata. Then go ahead, Nenkano. Tell them even that they hit tomorrow. Need tomorrow, so Nenkano. We got Viva. Si Jesus Masi, tell them if they don't know. Go ahead, Si Jesus Masi. Now we've been busy having the if they don't know. Then man, he take when he pop on it again. Si Nadora, get hello. Si Jesus Masi, then do us hands in the man. Let's start. Si Jesus Masi. Well, my friends, you saw history in the making right there. The Chamor language is alive and well and will be celebrated year-round. The governor signed a historic proclamation, basically turning Chamorro month into Chamorro year. That means the values that we hold most dear to us as native inhabitants of this wonderful island and this wonderful community of people, the one Guam family, we can celebrate our culture, our language, our history, our heritage all year round. And that's the way it should be. So. It has been an absolute honor as someone who grew up in Dededo and went to public school here. This has just been absolutely, absolutely amazing. Please share this post with your friends. And we'll take you out in probably the best way that we can. There are so many smiles here. I'm seeing teeth and eyeballs all over the place. It's amazing. The mood here was certainly, certainly positive. Everybody's so happy to make sure that, as Anne-Marie was saying so, so convincingly, she was saying, you know, the Chamorro language, look how many people speak it. We can't let this, let our beloved language, the language of our ancestors, the language of our elders, the, the ones who are still with us, we cannot let that language falter. So we have to keep Chamorro history, Chamorro language, Chamorro culture, Chamorro pride and make sure that it's shared with, she was saying, the Pamagunta, the children, the next generation, but also visitors here, people who weren't born here, people who aren't native Chamorro, but are Guamanians. We have to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to speak, celebrate, and love Chamorro. So this has been an absolute honor. I hope you enjoyed it watching on, on Facebook and YouTube as much as we did bringing it to you. It's absolutely amazing, something that I know I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. So thank you. Sujus Masi. Biba. On you tomorrow, not mess tomorrow this year, on you tomorrow. Adios from the Guam Museum in Aganya. <laughs>